we're going to uh, comment about uh, technology and its place in modern veterinary medicine uh, by the by the moonlight of our car. <laughs> so off you go then, Brent. Are you saying that with titanium scaffold technology, we're there? Absolutely. That's exactly what I'm saying. Full stop. <laughs> Um, no, I, I think there's always going to be infection, there's always going to be um, the possibility of failure, but that risk is massively reduced with the new technology, massively reduced. I don't have figures yet, because we haven't done enough cases yet, but we will have figures eventually. Uh, we do not see mechanical failure anymore. We, ju we just don't see it. So they had a up to 40% mechanical failure rate, even without infection. In, with some um, endos and some allografts, it was 70% mechanical failure ultimately. Yeah. We just don't see that. Not now. Um, if you have a bone in growth endoprosthesis, you're not just putting a metallic spacer in there and joining it to two bones. You're making a, 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 an internal, um, integral part of the dog's body.